Breaking news, ChatGPT have just released a brand new update that allows you to integrate model context protocol, aka MCPs, into ChatGPT. Now, I've already tested it. I'll show you exactly what it looks like, how to set this up, and exactly how it works step by step. So let's get straight into this. By the way, it's available to team, enterprise, and edu admins, and pro users starting today. So let's get straight into this, and I'll show you exactly how it works. Now, if you want to see an example of it, in process so for example here you can say inside chat gpt we've got deep research triggered and then we've added sources and we actually added our paypal mcp directly inside the chat here and we said check my latest invoices on paypal and give me the key financial stats from the last 12 months pick out the most important highlights ask a few questions we said boom shakalaka keep going on and then it actually did some deep research inside our paypal data showing us all the latest details along with reading our gmail along the way which is pretty crazy as well and you can see step by step exactly what it did how it worked all the data along and then it picks out the key activity over the last 12 months now this is super powerful because now you can create like super detailed research reports that you would normally need to get like a financial controller to do and it's not just limited to paypal this is just an example of how it works step by step but you could do this across many different mcps and i'll show you how to set these up plus some of the simplest examples today now this is using something called connectors which is a new option inside chat gpt where you can bring all your tools and then you can search reference and work alongside those inside the conversation directly inside chat gpt all right so as an example of this let me pull up some ways that you can set this up. So if you go inside your settings, like I mentioned before, I'm on a team workspace, I actually upgraded just to show you on this video how it works. Then once you've gone to your settings in the top right, then from here, you're gonna to go to connectors, right? And inside connectors, you've got all these different options. Now, if you are just on the normal plan, when I tested out earlier, you could only plug in like these different apps, right? So for example, Gmail, Calendar, Google Drive, PayPal, etc. I could plug those in. But if you want to add custom ones, the way that I figured out to do that myself is you would just click on create. So you can link a custom MCP server URL. And then this seemed to only pop up when I was on the team mode. Maybe it's coming to pro as well later, but from what I could see, it was much easier to set up inside the team mode of ChatGPT. Right now from here, what you're going to do is you are going to go inside here and you upload, you say the name of whatever MCP server you want to set up you put in all the details. Then inside here, you're going to plug in the MCP server URL. So for example, if we wanted to set that up on PayPal, we can just grab that online. You can Google it and there's all the information and details right here. I do have the setup instructions inside the AI success lab. If you want to see some examples of how we did this along with all of the video notes from today and some free resources I've included on like how to set up MCP agents and everything else. All right. So if we, for example, wanted to set up an MCP via Zapier, for example, we can create a new MCP server like so. Then we can click on the connect tab we can grab the MCP server URL. We can put the name inside the connector. From here, we'll put in the server URL. You can click on trust application, click create, and that is now connected, boom. And we've just connected this to ChatGPT directly. All right, the one that I found the most useful so far is PayPal. But what I don't like about it is that uh, this was only available inside the deep research mode of ChatGPT. So you didn't seem to be able to do it inside the normal version of ChatGPT. Right? So for example, if I go inside a new chat here and we click on tools, click on search connectors, we'll add sources, and you can't see PayPal on the dropdown on the normal search. However, if we now click on tools, run deep research, then click on add sources, then we can say, for example, let's use the PayPal MCP there. So it's annoying because you can only use it inside deep research and obviously deep research it takes it can take like sometimes 30 minutes 45 minutes to generate a report on there. So it's really good for like in-depth reports It's not very good for quick responses because obviously if you're waiting 35 minutes every time you need to go back and forth for chat GPT That is not ideal my friends. All right, but you can see exactly how to use it and how to set it up step by step so another update that's actually coming to chat GPT as well with the team option is recording phone calls. So let me show an example of this. So it's called ChatGPT record mode. 
and this will be available in initially for team workspaces on the Mac OS desktop so you can just download the Mac OS desktop if you want to get access and it's called ChatGPT Record right with ChatGPT Record you can basically capture and summarize meetings and voice notes directly using ChatGPT right you can get transcripts you can start recording, it will generate notes, you can edit or transform it, and also it will post it to Canvas as well. And the recording length can be up to 120 minutes per conversation, which is pretty cool as well. We use something called Fathom, which is good for this as well, but if you can do it directly inside ChatGPT and then ChatGPT knows about you, your business, who you are, etc., then that is even better, isn't it? Let's be honest. If we go inside the workspace here, I actually can't see a record option. Let me just click on new here. Yeah, I can't see a new record option. Let me just double check inside the projects and the projects are not working for me. We'll switch back to personal account and chat GPT desktop is broken for me. Okay, great. <laughs> we can't check out the projects. We'll close that down. But essentially chat GPT record should be coming soon. It doesn't work for me right now. As I've shown you, I want to be hundred percent transparent with you, but you can see how it works step by step. All right. And then you'll get live transcriptions, structured summaries, action items, etc. A little bit, like this for example this is google meet with the transcription notes and then if you want to see the guidelines i've actually included the resources inside the ai success lab link in the comments description if you want the free stuff yeah and then you can just go step by step for that delora says the best channel on here exactly wow crazy do you have to pay for this feature i think it's with the pro plan and the team plan from what we've seen so far so i don't think it's going to be on the paid version but usually the free tools they come out later if you do want to see a free way to do all this stuff and you want to connect mtp servers for free we actually have some training links inside the ai success lab these are all links to different courses on like setting up mcps and agents and that sort of thing so you could also use that if you want to learn more about doing this stuff now if we go inside chat gpt as well we'll go to the settings over here you can also link like the basic sort of connector apps so if we go to connectors you can see between the browse connectors here and you could switch between GitHub, Outlook Calendar, Linear, Outlook Email, etc. box. And these are all different options that you can use for setting up MCPs. Right? So, for example, if we go over here, enabled connectors, you can see I've enabled Gmail, Calendar, Google Drive and PayPal. Now, this is not great. I'll actually do another video comparing the two. But if we can, if we have a look at these are all for deep research, right, which is not ideal. So, for example, if we actually go into Claude and we're just using normal MCPs, right, we'll go inside here, we'll select the settings and then inside the settings, you can actually link for free MCP servers using Claude directly. And then you don't have to rely on deep research because if you want to get quick responses, this is not ideal at all. So, for example, yeah, it's not great. Now, let's have a look here as well. So, if we have a look at the MCP that we set up for Zapier, we'll just go over to settings here. Settings, connectors. Now, PayPal worked fine, but I can't see the MCP for Zapier showing up. I'm just going to try this again. We'll click create. Says it's now connected. But you can also see that it gives us an error when it tries to redirect to Zapier, which is not ideal, to be honest with you. Let's try a new one now. We'll just try other and see if that works instead. So if we go to connect on other, we'll copy that URL. We'll go back into ChatGPT. Just seems super buggy to me. So for example, let's try this. Connectors, create, MCP URL, test that out. Is that going to work for us? Yeah, again, it's just not working, is it? It's not working. So it still seems very buggy. It's nowhere near as advanced as something like Claude, to be honest with you. I will do a side-by-side -side comparison in a separate video. And also, you can only use this inside Deep Research, and also you need a team or a pro account to use it. Not the best, Sunshine. But let's try now. We'll try something else. So I'm going to try the Airbnb MCP, see if we can use that. We'll go inside ChatGPT here, settings, and see if we can connect this. But yeah, it seems to be better with PayPal, so that seems to be like one of the easiest to integrate, to be fair. So have a look at this video. ChatGPT have actually released this video explaining how to use it. Let's check it out. It has two functions. It has the search function, 
and the fetch function. Search just takes in a query and then does very base an ID cupcake MCP since the records are my cupcake orders contains my cupcake orders and then I'll paste in the ID so basically you can create your own MCP server URL as well and then you can plug that into the MCP server URL section here for the hosted MCP server this one doesn't have authentication but you can set it up trust this application and hit create Cool. Now that I've added the MCP server, I can enable it on Deep Research. So if I click Deep Research, I can see my Cupcake MCP, and then I can enable it. And now I can make a query like, what have been the most popular flavors? And then you can get its cool information for you as well. But again, it is only on the Deep Research mode. I don't know why that is. Like, why would you make it harder to use? But still, Impressive stuff, definitely got some good use cases and you can easily set it up, right? I think honestly, the way that I'm looking at this is it's probably best if you just use the native integrations in terms of the connectors. So for example, Gmail, Calendar, Google Drive, those are gonna be the easiest. PayPal works pretty well. The others seems to be a bit more difficult, to be honest. So thanks so much for watching. If you wanna get all the resources from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab. This is a community with 9,400 members, link in the comments description if you want to check it out. And additionally, you can get all the video notes from today, along with a bunch of courses. And we have tons of stuff on MCP agents, including some free stuff, right? So if you want to run MCP agents for free, I actually show you how inside this module and video training right here, along with computer use agents as well, and all sorts of stuff, right? Link in the description, appreciate you watching. If you want to get help, support, if you want to get coaching from me, if you want to connect with me directly, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. We have three coaching calls per week, so you can ask any questions if you get stuck. The community each week, we answer all the top automations you want to see, right? So for example, Christian was asking about a Reels automation. We created that for him inside the AI Profit Boardroom and showed him exactly how to use it directly, right? It's just a community designed to make learning AI fun and also to share our wins together. For example, like yesterday, we shared all our wins, like 15 comments on that, explaining all our best wins, what happened, etc. So if you want to be in a community where it's all about positivity, where things working really well, where we're working together, then this is the best place to learn, right? Additionally, if you want us to just automate everything for you and do everything for you, feel free to book in an AI strategy session, link in the comments description. It's completely free. You can book it in. We'll jump on a call together. We'll figure out what you need to automate. And then from there, we can figure out, okay, can we automate this for you and what are the next steps? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.